Here I am at uh, Fort Devens, the old schoolhouse. This is uh, July 2023, uh, 29 years after we closed the schoolhouse here. Um, my class, uh, with two other classes, uh, my class had Doug Bloom, Dave Mayer, and Herb Flowers, and I can't remember everybody in the other class, Jake Gunnerson and Dave Lester, um, and then maybe Spradlin, I can't remember everybody, it's been so long, but uh, have a look at the, the schoolhouse guys, this is a lot bigger than what I... I remember there being a break room right down in, in that one, I think. And I remember having to clean up bird poop, seemed like for three weeks. I don't know how long it was, but they kept a few classes back. You know, we got all the way through, through training except for like the last class, maybe can't remember systems was the name of the class I think and they kept us just so we could clean up all the bird, bird poop I don't see so much bird poop down here on this level like there was memories Crazy how nature takes over. Oh. Every day for a year, <clears throat> we'd march down here. Uh, it was over a mile, I think. And uh, up here in Devons, Massachusetts, it's awfully cold. Ice. As we were marching, one person would would fall and take about three or four, maybe more, with them. Uh, everything's boarded up here. Every single one of these classrooms, if they weren't administrative, you know, rooms, there was, you know, they were a, a classroom dedicated to some other electronics class. I think clear down on this far end is kind of where they where we started with uh, with DC DC class uh, I think that was uh, that was Orzachowski John Orzachowski what's up John I think maybe Sergeant Cho or Chow was one of them. Wow. This is unbelievable. Memories. So we had DC and then AC. I can't remember my AC instructor. Then maybe Solid State or something like that. Sardin Hill from Wichita, Kansas. Uh, good, good Christian man. Kind of called me out when I was getting a little little sideways one day anyway my goodness almost 30 years since we've been here this building over here I believe was at 98 Charlie's Morse code operators something like that anyway my name is Travis Chesser I didn't say that before and I am a 33 Yankee. I don't know what they're called now anymore. 35 Tangos or something like that. And they, they meshed all the, the Yankees, Romeos, and Tangos. The Yankees were kind of like field station uh, electronic technicians. We did uh, fault level, component, component level fault isolation and repair of uh, whatever electronic equipment 
the Intel soldier used for their missions. Uh, that was a 33 Yankee at the time. 33 Romeos uh, did a similar thing on, on uh, air platforms like uh, the guardrail system. They would uh, troubleshoot systems on, on board and replace equipment. They didn't go down to the component level back in those days, maybe before. And then the 33 Tangos, they worked on tactical uh, SIGINT systems. Um, like the Turkey 32, and I don't remember what else they had, but uh, the 33 Yankees, their entire uh, their entire training, technical training, happened in this building, and about halfway through the Tangos and Romeos, I believe they would break off, and they had their you know their systems level training somewhere else, but everybody had basic you know basic electronics and probably. Uh, antenna theory wave propagation here in this building wow this is really cool uh, it doesn't doesn't do it justice but maybe someone watching this can some memories could come back to them too I'm gonna go take a look at the uh, the barracks next